What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. Gunner, you wanna say hi to everybody? Yeah, you gonna say hi to everybody? Oh, good boy, good boy. So you guys may remember the other day me and Wes were at Home Depot and uh, that's where we got the really great deal on the toolbox. The reason we were there actually, and Gunner, sorry, he's really loud, he's really excited right now, is uh, I was ordering a new dryer and well, I screwed up on matching dryers or matching the dryer to the washing machine. Yeah, that, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they don't, I mean, they kind of match, but not as good as they should have. Either way though, uh, this one looks a hundred times better than the 20 year old hand-me-down dryer that I used to have when I moved into this place. So at least they're both white and have glass on them. Didn't exactly match the heights or the little uh, bezel there. So if you've been watching the channel for any length of time, you know that all of my vehicles are either currently being restored to something nice and flawless and showy, or they already are a nice uh, show vehicle. I don't really have any beaters and my OBS that I had originally, um, that one was my beater when I first bought it. I bought it as a work truck. I've had two OBSs. One prior to that was a 93 F-150 that was also a work truck, um, single cab, long bed. But I always wanted the diesel, so I sold that one ended up buying uh, the 97 F-350 that I currently have. Thought I was going to keep it as a work truck, so I beat on it pretty hard and then decided one day, like for some crazy reason, let's put a really expensive page on it and start restoring that truck. And then I bought my 05, my LOI Duramax, which I'm like, yeah, maybe this one will be the new work truck and then I'm like now nah, let's make this one a streetish truck and let's put a new paint job on that truck so I'm currently left with like no real work truck that I don't mind beating on while I can load stuff in the OBS and I do um, you got to be really careful with it and I just want a truck that like I don't I don't want to say don't have to care about but can be a lot more lenient with so today's the day we're bringing another new truck onto the channel well obviously this one's not new you read the title of this video but we're getting a new OBS today and I'm really excited for this one because it's one that a lot of you guys have been saying I need for a while what are we doing uh Auto body repair over here? Oh, yes, Sergio's auto body repair? No, we're doing the same thing that you want to do in your truck. They get it first. <laughs> you better not have sold them mine that we ordered. <laughs> no. Oh, is that what we're doing? We're doing the white with the amber? Yeah, we're going to have white amber right here. Yeah. And we're going to have the uh, white amber modules. Oh, I like your mock up there. <laughs> yep. right here. Uh, and we got my new truck pulling up. Sergio, how's that for timing? Uh, perfect. You ready? Yeah, we can start working on that. Yeah, what do you want to do? This nose in right there is good. Ready to flip? What's up, buddy? How's it going, man? Good, good. That's Bert, straight, say man. hi to the channel. Say hi to everybody. How's it going, guys? How's it going? Bert's buddy of Wes's, and uh, well, he's kind of forced to sell this truck. Yeah, a little bit. That's little what bit. happens when you get married, right? Uh, it's, not, it's not all her. <laughs> We have a kid. And gotcha. Single yeah. cab does not accommodate well for a child, so. And he's an OBS lover. He don't want to get rid of the truck. And I appreciate the fact that he loves the truck so much that hopefully, you know, him selling it to me, we're putting it back into good hands here. Oh, yeah. But oh, yeah. I saw what you did with your old, with your other one, so. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Got a good base here, maybe. Maybe, it's maybe. a lot of money to get yeah. into what that one was. Yeah. So. It's got good bones though. Yeah, the biggest factor about this truck that probably you guys are gonna know is, well, first of all, it's a single cab. I'm not a big single cab guy because you guys will see the back seat of my OBS, it is completely full of trash and crap. But I figure if we're gonna be doing like a work truck, trail rig or something like that, single cab is ideal, it's a shorter body. This is a 250, whereas my other one is a 350. It does have the longer bed though, it doesn't have the short bed. So that's good. And probably the biggest factor that all of you guys are gonna finally be excited about is it is in fact a four wheel drive. As you can see, verified, drive shafts are hooked up, everything works. Dana 360, axle swap from an F350. Everything works. We took it up to Laguna. I went with Wes and Steiner, I think the day after Christmas gotcha. uh, in 2019. We took it up to Laguna, like 14 inches of snow. Did better than there. Give me a whole rundown of the truck, just so that everybody on the channel kind of knows okay. what we got. It's a 97 F250. Not a whole bunch done to it. Four inch straight exhaust, the DS6 tuner, so that gives it like a whopping 225 horsepower. I'm not sure exactly <laughs> what they it for. <laughs> yeah. But, um, other than that, I haven't done a whole lot to it. Um, and I just had the trans rebuilt like 2,000 miles ago. All that's warranty. So one of the big things on these trucks is the trannies do go out often. My truck about, I'd say a year after buying it, my tranny went out. So I'm glad to hear this one has a brand new tranny put into it. Other than a few things like, you know, we still got some life left on the old uh, Toyo MTs there. That's good. I'm gonna have two sets of factory wheels. If anybody out there is that hard up for a set of factory wheels, let me know, because now that I got two, I might be willing to, you know, give some to another uh, OBS owner, whereas my original set, I don't want to get rid of. The, the I, factory look is classy. I got these uh, Moto Metals with 37 uh, mud grapplers on them. Gotcha. And 
I thought I would like them a lot more, but after I rode around on them for like two weeks, I was like, ah, it's not for me. So I put the factory ones back on. And I like it. I just like the way it looks better. It rides better. And I, I too am like a purist in some of the OBS looks. And then I also like like what we did to mine where we kind of modernized it a little bit. But speaking of these tires, if anybody is interested in a set of tires and wheels, obviously um, I'm with you. I don't think they're going to be going yeah. back on the truck, but if somebody wants to buy those, let me know. Shoot me a Instagram messenger and email. I mean, the body wise, you know, there's a couple little things here. It does have a broken tail light. Uh, it's pretty straight though. I mean, it's got a little, a little bit of some cosmetic stuff. Obviously there's been a door fender hood swap on it at some point, but glass is all good. Everything's good. It's got the smaller of the uh, big arm mirrors. I wish it had like the, the little ones that kind of bolted up to the door, but in terms of like their bracket style mirrors, those are the best looking ones that I have found interior wise. Oh, dude, it comes with a vape? Oh, yeah. Dang, I didn't even have to pay extra for that. I told you I'm having a kid. I got to get rid of all the bad habits. There you go. Yeah. We'll give that to Wes. Let's, yeah. get, let's get him hooked on that. Interior-wise, you can see the interior is uh, essentially the same as my current OBS, which to me, this is also the best interior. If you've ever noticed, uh, a lot of the trucks, when you get a red exterior, you get a red interior. You get a blue exterior, you get a blue interior. I don't know why those colors look horrible on the trucks. The gray is my favorite interior. Um, only real issue is the armrest is kind of a little busted, but the good news is I have the one out of my Ford that we could put in here and have a brand new one, but seats look in great condition. Again, obviously four wheel drive, we've got trailer brake controller. It's got the, uh, what do you call it? Six position switch. What is the yeah, name? I think it's DS6 or something like that. It's like 150 bucks on eBay or something. Yeah, gotcha. I go with Hydra on these. Hydra's the way to go. I but, just didn't have it quite long enough. I'm a power hungry it. performance guy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's really in great condition. Like the dash isn't really super cracked up. It's got, you know, a couple little splits here, but that's like in the vinyl. That's the easier part to fix versus all the plastic that gets all cracked and beat up on these things. You even have the ashtray, which <laughs> my truck does not have the ashtray. Power everything, again, similar to my truck. So we don't have to worry. We got power doors, windows, everything work. Just all around, I mean, it, it's a solid truck. Now, it is a little high in mileage. <laughs> yeah. What are we at? Uh, what is it, 312 I think, 312,000. So that is the part that like really freaked me out the most. Yeah, I don't, I don't like getting anywhere near that 300,000. My current OBS, I bought it with 170 on it. It has 215 or 220 on it right now. So this has got almost 100,000 miles more, but it's had a top end rebuild not that long ago, right? I think 270,000, 275,000. Gotcha. Allegedly, it's got new injectors. Yeah. Allegedly. Hopefully, from the previous owner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it from a buddy up in Pendleton. He's stationed up in Pendleton. Um, basically, he got orders, had to go. So I got the truck up off him and had a lot of ambitions for it, but just, you know, family and life. And stuff yeah. Like so I will say, like, while I'm hedging my bets on this engine, it's going to be reliable because it is a 7.3 Power Stroke. Um, worst case scenario if this thing just blows up we've got a heck of a front end to swap into my uh, my obs and convert that thing fully to four-wheel drive and a brand new tranny to put in and i'm sure the transfer case and all that's good so like well, we're... hopefully it doesn't though I'm, I'm not trying to get beat up next time i come over here so <laughs> well that's the other good thing is like i'm buying it from somebody i know you know wes has said a lot of good things I, you know you guys are pretty good at maintaining your vehicles and stuff so hopefully uh hopefully this one lasts i would love it to be kind of my like i said trail rigged Honestly, I would love to at some point flatbed this thing and make it like kind of a, I don't know, I, I know like Wes's buddy with the K20 wants to do like an off-road recovery rig and I love that style. Yeah. So maybe at some point we end up flatbedding this thing or making it something cool. Oh, they went through the floor with these boogers? Yeah. Woo! Yeah, it's got the uh, big old, I don't even know what those are called, stirrup steps? Stirrup steps. Yeah, big old stirrup steps. Got an awesome washer for the, uh, the door panel because you guys know these door panels always are coming loose and nobody really figures out you just need to size up your screw size everybody just goes for the drywall screws i think that's what everybody has in stock got the dual tanks and they both work both which work. again both on these trucks is kind of rare and we got this really nice trim dude like that's classy i like it i like it remove this one so we can put this one yeah. do you know how many owners this truck's had i believe three so you were three i think i'm number three gotcha so. all right that's not that bad yeah clean title I mean, still runs i drive it every couple days yeah uh, i got another truck when it's in the shop or when i'm doing something have it taken apart i drive it every day i haven't had no issues so he's also building a street ish loi right the lb7 oh you got an lb7 yeah. gotcha yeah. i will say the paint is in great shape on this thing this is actually the color of my 93 f-150 that i had i had the the beautiful red there but 
getting up on the roof i mean clearly this is original and hasn't been <clears throat> i'm assuming repainted eh, maybe it has i don't know but other than some clear coat peeling like i don't see any really any rust spots or anything on the truck which is surprising on these things frames in good shape like no rust on it that was the major thing when i went to buy it that's what i was looking for obviously a truck this old you're gonna think it's gonna have rust or super bad damage up underneath or anything yeah. like that so it's a pretty good pretty good buy i'm happy with it well hopefully we can keep you being happy with it we don't really know the story behind the the body panel change do we um so the guy that i got it from he bought it from a guy in his hometown in missouri the truck's from missouri and he was a logger and he said that the guy bought it from back to tractor into it and set the bucket down on the hood and the side of the fender and i guess his rear tire the rear fork of the tractor jammed into the door and he had another OBS that so he just took those off of and put it on because this was in, in better shape than his other OBS. Sounds like an odd story. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I backed into it. Let me just put the bucket down on the hood. But I mean, we've looked up underneath. The frame doesn't look like it ever had any like crumple in it or anything like that, or like it's been straightened. So it could have just been a cosmetic thing to where they, yeah. I'm sure back, back east, they got a lot of OBS. It's just lying around. The bumpers on these trucks are normally trash. This one does have a little trimming to obviously weight clear reduction. the tires or weight reduction. That's a good way to put it. but. I mean, even the, the rear bumper on this one is in really, really good shape. I mean, shoot, I'd almost swap that for the rear bumper on uh, my OBS because mine's got a big old, I don't know, the previous owner on mine like hooked something and kept driving. So he like did some weird tear in the bumper, but this one's actually really, really nice. It's a great truck for, uh, you know, take some of the beating off of your, your OBS. You don't have to worry about the paint job too much. Stuff Watch, I one. guarantee now, I guarantee <laughs> I'm going to park this one in the exact same spot I parked my OBS. It will not get, touched, get touched ever, yeah. ever. That's how it goes. Oh, look at that. We're ready for off-road now, bro. I don't know what Chinese bar that is, but it needs some help. <laughs> We might have to rip that one off. So I've actually already test driven this thing. Um, if you guys watch a couple videos back, you'll see when he brought it over here. That was the first day I wanted to look at it. But, uh, you know, let's take it for a little drive. The good thing is it doesn't rub at full lock. Yeah. I mean, I know they trimmed a little bit, but even my truck rubs at full lock. It's definitely a different steering experience on the four-wheel drives versus the two-wheel drives. She sounds good, though. Yeah. I will miss it. That turbo whistle is nice. I got an LB7, and anybody that has an LB7 knows them things stock. You can't hear the turbo at all. <laughs> so when I got in this thing and I heard, it, I was like, "Wow, this, it sounds like a." Monster. You gonna miss her? Did you enjoy your final ride? I enjoyed it. I teared up a little bit. That's why I kept the glasses on. <laughs> now nah, you're good. You know, you'll come driver anytime you want. I am worried though guys, we're going back to plastic door handles. You guys know me and these door handles. I've probably broke about 30 of them in my OBS. We're gonna have to call up uh, CP Attic, see if we can get some stuff swapped out on this thing, some metal door handles. Uh, gonna need some new headlights. These ones are a little hazy there. The classic three-tone is, well, they're really hard to find. Well, nothing says American. It's yeah. it's basically red, white, and blue. I mean, they got the little white separating it right there. Like, I think it's about as all-American of a truck as you can find. Yeah, pretty much. I mean. It's a one-of-a-kind paint job. Right. Well, I mean, it was owned by many service members. Yeah. Like, this is America right here, guys. We just bought America. Well, guys, we got a special treat here. We've got the man, the myth, the legends, Fern Semi-Famous Barbecue. Semi-Famous stuff. With the Don Wapo hot sauce. Oh, yeah, he's good. So, Fern, uh, you're jumping on the, the Venom wheel train here, huh? Yes. Watch out. They're hot, hot. They just came in the mail today. And so they advised. I said, hey, what do you guys need? What do I need? I sent them a photo. Great customer service. Uh, they say, oh, you need uh, 14 by 1.5s. Uh, I was here within three, four days. and um, So custom powder coated to your color, right? Yep. So you picked that red. Yep. And it goes well with the uh, Fern semi-famous center caps you made there. So the other day we had Noah over here. He painted uh, Christian's hood and he also painted Fern's hood. And a lot of you guys said, like, hey, how come Fern's wasn't like all crazy? Well, Noah only had a couple of colors that day because he didn't plan on doing Fern's hood. But now got some updates right Fern? So we did uh, hood 2.0. Uh, Bryant has not seen it yet. By the way Brian's here. Hi Brian. Hey how are you guys? Man you're looking great today dude. Very dapper. Hey it's my work attire. You're a dapper gentleman. It's you must be essential. Yeah, I, I am essential. <laughs> all right all right. All right, all right fine, Hold on we view. want we want Brian's reaction. Ready? Damn that looks way better. You like it? Yeah that looks way better. All right here we go. Definitely got a lot more of that graffiti feel, the flames that Noah did and the smoke in the background. I don't know how well it's gonna light up on camera with the sun being right above us, but 
So I have a RGB, and of course it's gonna be it's all for a night look, but I have a RGB in here and every color pops. It every almost makes it look like it's black light lit up. Yes. So Fern's right. Fern's got where are the lights in here? Right here. Oh yeah, so they Fern's were RGB got from my, my grill. Yeah, it's got an LED oh, nice. LED strip right there that lights up the entire here. That's actually a really smart place to put it too. Yeah. Nice and clean. Got work for it on there. I'm surprised Noah's able to do like that skinny a font <laughs> with his spray paint. And he didn't have a sticker to have it. He just that's all freehand. There you go. Yeah. It's definitely uh, a Original. lot more artsy than what it was the other day with only the couple colors that he had. Yeah. Hey, buddy. How's, how's your snacks? <laughs> Amazing. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Hey, dude. You didn't bring Chris a blizzard? Nah, dude. Oh. We we're doing our fucking our annual recall for gun gun calls. Oh. And we have we finished the daytime. Now we have the nighttime. So we gotta wait till seven. So Wes actually facilitated pretty much this whole sale. Uh, he told his buddy to bring it over. Maybe Ryan would want to buy it. And well, Ryan wanted to buy it. The price was right, I guess. The price was right. The price was right. Hopefully, uh, Wes knows kind of the maintenance of it. It was his buddy, so. A little bit. I mean. You're responsible if anything goes wrong. What's the warranty? How many days did he give you? Uh, six years. All right, boys. Oh, dude, these are heavy. <laughs> now that I got you guys here. Whoa, dude. Hey, you guys want to unload some tires? My shit's melting. I ain't got time for that. Oh, all right. You, eat your snack. Eat your We're snack. We're making deals right here. Hey, Chris, buddy, you already have snack time. Here you uh, go, I man. I need to go find more snacks. Oh, you got to go find more snacks? Don't let it go in the first truck. Let it go. Ready? Don't Good. scratch the wheel. Dude, and I got a tie down thrown in, too. The best of Harbor Freight. Look, it already sold. We'll get you some eight lug adapters on that thing. Hey, can we leave the wheel spacers on? You gotta leave the wheel spacers. Yeah, you need some stance. Oh, 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 oh. Catch it, catch it. Oh, that's the truck. Oh, Joy, more tires. We just really got any more room on my tire rack up there. I wanna, I wanna test my tire uh, crane over here, see if we can lift these heavy sons of guns. It lifted all the stock tires and wheels, no problem. This one's uh, pretty heavy, so let's see. I don't, again, really have any space to put it, so somebody come please buy these quickly because I don't want to store any more tires. We also do have the stock Tahoe wheels for sale if anybody wants those, asking around a thousand bucks. We got my stock Denali wheels if anybody wants those, uh, 20 inch, asking about 1400. I don't know, whose one was that? All right, let's see if the crane will lift it. Chris, come hook it up, buddy. I'll be the operator, you come hook it up. We need to get like one of the little fish scales to go on the end of this so we know the actual weight that we're lifting. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hooked enough. All right, here goes nothing. Stand clear, Chris. Woo. Oh, she's bending, she's bowing, but she's lifting. I consider that a win. So Wes is going to be upgrading his train horn setup again. This is number four. Four. Number four. Because Fern is better than him right now. Oh. Fern is a little louder, it's but loud. for the price, I mean, he obviously bought it used. The price, he bought loud. it used for a good Doesn't deal, matter, but it's, it's a you know twelve hundred dollars setup. It's I'm loud. still rocking a couple hundred dollars setup. But anyway, I got a five gallon air tank from uh, Horn Blasters because the uh, their mount that they make fits uh, this tank, so I had to go with this tank. Um, I've got dual compressors here. So he's going full upgrade. He's also gonna be running the Horn Blasters, the full custom. Wicked Trucks mount. Or, yeah, Wicked Trucks, rebranded Horn Blasters. <laughs> Private labeled Horn Blasters, we should say. Uh, truck plate, that basically they are vehicle specific. They replace your uh, spare tire. So it cleans up everything and it makes install a little bit simpler. So Wes is gonna be upgrading to a pretty, Badass horn. Wait, let's not say what it is yet. Let's just wait until it shows up. But it's definitely a horn that I've never heard in person. I've been wanting to hear because it might be something that we get for the Fords. Fords, uh, we got a lot of Fords now. When are you get a Ford? But yes, hey, for sale. Uh, like, my 2016 Silverado is for sale, <laughs> guys. If you would uh, like to see me in a Ford, make an offer. So for tonight, the OBS is going to be uh, living in the shop. Might be here for a little while. I want to have Zach go through and check uh, the ball joints. It needs some bushing. The good thing is, again, Bert got all of the replacement parts in here. So we've got new ball joints, new bushings, uh, a bunch of other little maintenance things that 
he had intended on doing to the truck, but obviously being kind of not forced to sell it, but pushed into selling it. He just never got around to it. So good news is we got all the parts. I want to have Zach go through and just make sure everything is really dialed in before I actually start full-time driving this thing. Reverse lights. There's no reverse lights? No. Uh -huh. well, I was hoping I could steal some bulbs off this truck for my OBS. <laughs> <laughs> ah, reverse lights overrated. I don't know guys, I think we got a uh, pretty good looking combo here. This truck actually sits pretty high. I don't know exactly what lift kit is on it. If uh, much of any there, can't really tell from the little shackle drops right there, but thing, I think it sits at a good height. I don't really want to, like, I don't know what we should do with this. I want it to kind of be like, work truck beater slash can take it off road again like maybe flatbed i don't know give me some ideas what you guys think we should do i'm also wondering if we should run bigger tires on here obviously it came with uh the set of 37 mud grabs but these are not going to be going back on the truck currently it has uh 315 75s on there which is 34.6 inches i can't stand metric tire size you gotta like multiply the hypotenuse by pi and all kinds of crazy crap to figure out what that is in inches but why we would make a 34.6 when they also make a 35. Whatever, don't understand it, but this is what it would look like with some 37s on it. Definitely a lot taller and meatier. But with that, we're gonna wrap up this video as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now to figure out what we're gonna end up doing with that there old OBS and as well as Wes's uh, new train horn setup. You don't wanna miss that. Don't forget to give this video a like, get a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best, I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah.